All right, today Robot. is January 24th. The Rundown brought to you by MVMT Watches, MVMTWatches.com. These are the watches that look like they cost 500 bucks. Wrong, wrong, wrong. They cost 95. So you can wear a watch that looks like it's top of the line for uh, low $95 prices. All still is use the code RUNDOWN. Um, get 20, is it 20% off? 15% off, excuse yeah. me, 15% off and free shipping, mvmtwatches.com slash rundown. So buy the watches, do that. Um, okay, we are into the, Riggs is in for KFC, who's doing KFC radio, has to go home early because we are packing up. We're going to be on the RV tomorrow morning early. This last rundown before Comedy Central. You won't see us till you see us on TV. So this is it. This is before Comedy Central. Um, also, Hank came over and said, don't do a rundown today. He did not want to run down today, not for that reason, but he wanted, he thought to let, I guess you and Kevin were getting smashed for not bringing up the Facebook thing um, two days ago, and he's like, let's just not do it so we don't have to go into it. And I said to him what I said to everybody, first of all, I want to do the rundown. I didn't know Kevin wasn't going to be here, and I'd probably trash Kevin because he goes home at like 4 o'clock every day anyways, so he shouldn't be like saying, oh, you screw up on Facebook Live when he uses his kid as an excuse to go home early. You can just trash me. It's cool. Yes. It yeah, we'll just anyways. Yeah, pretend you're Kevin. Um, yeah, sure. So, as I said on the rundown, we, I, we've been talking about that Facebook Live on Sirius every single day. I wasn't going to bring it up. If you guys brought it up, I would have talked about it. We're... I think people get the wrong impression. They don't realize that we are a, a unified front at Barstool. So I wasn't, I mean, it wasn't something that we needed to bring up at the moment yesterday. So, hey, you said it. You, it was Jim Calhoun. I, I thought you could have just posted that. I fucked up. I, I took, I, I, I took, I, I took I, Karan I Butler and Emeka Okafor. That, that Facebook Live did not go well. Just fucked I, up. What are you going to do? I knew it did not Things go well happen. in real time. I said right away it didn't go yeah. good on real time. Time kind of slows down. What I will say to all the stoolies, though, and I said it in my blog, where like, oh, you owe us an apology and all that. It's like, well, fuck you. No, I don't. Because like 13 straight years of fucking doing content, we had a bad fucking game. Big Fuck fucking up. whoop. And people, so, you know, you got blown out one game. What are you going to do? And I will say, I get the point of like, oh, they're like, why don't you bust? First of all, there's two things. People are like, I would have busted balls. Yeah, no shit, I would have busted balls. Guess what? It's Ted and Sam. Like fucking... If Tom Brady has a fucking bad game or doesn't do well, people don't try to run Tom Brady out of town. If Jacoby Br Brisby slash Feidelberg has a bad game, you send him on the first fucking train out of town. So you treat You somehow made this a ball busting of Feidelberg. Every. Well, I see a lot of people. <laughs> this is like the master spin zone. There we go. I, I see a lot of people <laughs> sucking Feidelberg's dick too. Uh. Being like, oh, he had tickets to the game. To my defense, I told Feidelberg because I wasn't anticipating it. I was like, if you want to stay, and go to the game, stay, I have the Facebook myself. Turns out I really didn't, but that's what I said in hindsight the day before. So everyone's gonna come. Listen, uh, we I apologize to nobody. We it was all, a bad fucking play. We all, we all fuck up from time to time. Uh, it hurts me to say it, but I will say it. Go Prez, go, and we're on to Houston. We're on to Houston. We're that's, on to Houston. That's a very good Big way. That's what we week. need to say. We're on we to Houston. We are on to Houston. We're getting ready for Comedy Central. See you at Kirby's Ice House. Right. Um, all right, so having said that, that I guess people want to be the post show of yesterday. And by the way, the post show is a little trickier, and I, and, and I said this to you, I would actually not have busted balls in that situation because everything's a little different, and there isn't anyone in my situation. So it's a different situation yeah. that makes it a little more tricky yeah. just to be There's, like, boo, boo, boo. Anyways, go, press, go, baby. Don't fucking copy me, Riggs. <laughs> You yeah, I'm a go press go guy. You can guy. also go assaulted there, <laughs> king of the beach, toy cannon, food on the table. Well, I'm saving that. All right, don't go too up. far. All right, yeah, I give you a fucking. I agent. gotta be. I gotta balance you it here. You take a mile bit. here, Dave. Don't You're go. King uh, as well. I swallowed my pride. So you go. No, let's not go too far. <laughs> Speaking of things that I do want to talk about, LeBron James. Yes. Um, I hate this cocksucker. I can't say cocksucker on. Yeah, I'll say it now. Central. He's a fucking cocksucker. Yeah. So he, they, they, they've lost five out of seven. Um, and after the last game, he basically said he needed to make a trade. The Cavs don't have enough players. They're not deep enough, and he can't play like this. And on 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 it went. It's the same fucking team that won the title last year. The second things go bad, this guy puts all – he basically said, it's me, Kyrie, and Love. We have Pretty nobody good else. Yeah, and we have nobody else. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's the king of subtweeting you, and all that. I, we got into it a little bit on the radio yeah, show. Yeah, you said he, that's what I said. I said there's, there's very clear parallels between the two of you, which eventually we agreed upon. But you, were, you do kind of the master spin zone thing where when it's not going great, 
he subtweets and all that. And then when it happens and it goes really well, it's all I, 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 I won the championship. I came back from 3 1, blah, blah, blah. So he does it both ways. He gets away with it and it rattles your case. Did, you, did you see, though, the, t the tweet was the most passive aggressive tweet I've ever seen? Yeah. Saying, uh, if we want to win it, I, 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 I like our management, but we probably need to make a move. If we want to win another championship, if that's something we want to do. Yeah, it's like, like fuck off, man. Get I, the fuck out he, of here. He's the fucking worst. The three people I hate most in the universe, him, Goodell, by the way, shout out Roger Goodell. These new shirts are now on sale. If you can't see it, can we zoom in? Do we have the zoom capabilities? It is a Tom Brady caricature slapping the shit out of Roger Goodell's bare ass. Also, shout out Comedy Central. They have also been caught in our wake, and now they are banned from uh, Radio Row because Ooh. anybody associated Pirate with ship. us is now gone. I like it, Roger. Keep banning people. Guess what? You're banned from us. Two can play that game. Uh, if you want to come on part of my take, you can. <laughs> if he's on part of my take, I'd like to request permission to join that show. Um, speaking of small dicks, Deshaun Jackson, his Instagram... <laughs> Uh, Ho was on some radio show, came out of the woodwork, and basically they're like, does anybody have a small dick? She's like, um, yep, Deshaun Jackson does. He's built like an Asian person. I don't know who got insulted more, Deshaun Jackson or Asian people. Definitely Deshaun. Mm. What do you do, though? If like, you get what is out the, with a This is such a blindsided, fucked up attack. Like, unless Deshaun Jackson did something to her, unless he stole money from her or something... This you have to, you wake up and you're like all of a sudden you're getting called small dick to Sean Jackson on the internet. That's a nightmare. Does that stick with somebody like him? Does he care? I think that sticks. I and mean, he does care. Yes, he's kind of like got a little bit of a bad boy attitude and like a reputation around. You can't have it if you got a small dick. He reminds dick. me of Chris Brown. I don't know why, and I don't think it matters. They're, they're both kind of tattoos, slender, yeah, black yeah, guys, and like probably can dance and I'm yeah. like fast or whatever. I. I think it doesn't stick with Deshaun Jackson. I don't think any girl, girls want to hook up with Deshaun Jackson regardless, and then they get small dicked and they don't really care, and I don't think he cares. I think it's also becoming like the watered down go to chirp from chicks that are rattled is like the small dick. But, thing. but she you don't know how much credibility there is. But I, like this chick wasn't rattled. This chick was just there, like out of the blue. Do you know anybody with a small dick? And she was like, Yeah, Deshaun yeah, she, Jackson. Yeah. It wasn't yeah, like, like that was had, really bad sex, you could tell. Right. Also, I'm not sure. Does, is Deshaun Jackson like? Is he a hoodlum? Is he capable he's, of murdering he's somebody? Chip Ke the rumor was Chip Kelly traded him from the Eagles because he had ties to the Crips back in uh, California. I don't think I don't. I'm not totally cool on my Crips bloods knowledge. I can do the blood symbol in my hands, which I see. I'm not going to do that on Comedy Central because people are watching, and that's how you get murdered. Well, we also learn the... Uh, Coley, you're a wankster. If somebody, if somebody does the blood symbol, a is white it, guy And like I'm us, doing it in a blue jumpsuit. Is that... Did he just put a death warrant on his head? No, Probably. because that's not like an actual gang sign. That's just something white people figured out they could do with their hands. What about oh, West so Side? What about West on. Side? Well, I don't know who's on anymore. I don't know if we can hear you, because back to Sunday Night Facebook Live, our boy Pete kind of set me up, because... The girl was here. I'm like, can you? I'm like, can so, you hear? So, so, so I'm like, can you hear her? Not. And people are like, no, she's not mic'd up, but you actually could. So that set the train wreck. So I don't know if they could hear you. Shout out, serious Pete, for <laughs> kind of throwing me through the train tracks. What I was saying is, uh, no, that's not like an official gang symbol. That's just white people who figured out you could spell blood with your fingers. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's not an actual gang sign. Speaking of bloods and crips and hostage situations. Okay. Melania, M Melania, Tr Melania Trump. Oh, should we tease it? Oh, you think we got this? I think we got this. 52 seconds. I think Oof. we got it. We'd have oh. Hank with the clock. And we can run late. They'll be in my ear. That's what they keep saying. They'll be in my okay. ear. Melania Trump was held. There's a theory that she's being held hostage. Because during the inauguration, she has this big, wide smile. The second Trump turns around, hostage situation. Riggs, you're a, you're a political guy. Read this. You're a finals club guy. Is this a hostage situation? Well, she's definitely a hostage. I mean, it's just a matter <laughs> of like how, is it like metaphorical hostage? Of course she's a fucking hostage. She does whatever the guy wants. She gets to live her life. I mean, I think it's very clear she never wanted to be the first fucking lady. And now she's stuck in that situation and she's supposed to be this big role model for the whole world. She's just some smoking hot trophy wife who used to do nudes and is trying to bang the rich guy. That's in the fucking White House. That's the point. She never wanted to be first lady. She signed up. She is dealing with Donald Trump and she signed up for all that deal for the wealth, the trips to, you know, around the world, the big mansion in Florida. She didn't do it to walk around and have to shake hands all day. She might be that the biggest be, loser of the But that has thing. to be the worst 
that like watching these people walk around the White House and always have to like shake hands and meet dignitaries and all that, I would fall asleep right away. Does Melania Trump walk around her lingerie at Trump Mansion? And if so, can she do it at Trump? At the White House? Yeah. Definitely. I think Trump might make her walk around in lingerie. That would be kind of yeah. hot. Yeah. I don't think they have sex, though. I think we talked about this. I think just Trump gets sucked. I think that's a fact. And I we, think he bangs her for sure. Ooh. Riggs, political correspondent, says a definite bang. Dude, he's oh, like yeah. 70. That's a lot of energy, man. He's, he's got, got a lot of energy. Viagra, Cialis, all that shit. He's an energy uh, guy. Yeah. Hi, all right. That's the break. We come back. Now we're in going to be a weird segment. We need more topics, basically. That one actually could have gone. Yeah, we yeah. should have. Yeah. Well, the good news is that we fuck it up next week. It'll just be live on Comedy Central. Yeah, yeah so. not a big deal. No, no big pressure. Deal. Um, Way better. Brought to you by Untuck It, this next segment. These are the shirts designed to be worn untucked. Perfect fits. I've been to the place in New York. Great. 20% off for all stoolies who use the code RUNDOWN. Click on it. I don't know that Untuck It has offered the 20% before with us. I feel like it was just a straight ad. Maybe they have. If they haven't, jump on it because this is maybe a misprint. But 20% Untuck It. Shirts to be designed to wear untucked. I think Kate Marco is a huge Untuck I it love guy. Untuck It. They sent a box. I went into your office because I needed to change before we went out last Friday. Shout out to me for stealing your stuff. Grabbed an Untuck It shirt, wore it. Got two compliments from chicks at the bar. It said that shirt fits really nicely. It's crazy how you just wear everybody else's shit, do everybody else's moves. If it's going to be your thing, your you just socks, embrace it. Those yeah, socks those you didn't pants. pay for. Those are my, actually, those are my piss pants. Oh, I'm wearing Barstool socks. Like, yeah. That's such a crime. Well, everything is just everything. The hat you didn't pay for, the sh you're stealing shirts out of willingly now, mm -hmm. openly. From Untuck It, is, great what's fitting the shirt. Jacket? Is that yours? My mom bought me this for Christmas. Okay. Shh, fucking free shit from your mom. <laughs> True. <laughs> Untuck It. That. Grace and Allen back in the news, got in a little fray walking through the huddle of NC State. I don't know what you say about this. He's the best. I mean, he just keeps getting his scuffles. This one, I think, is his fault, actually, uh, because he kind of walked right, like, it was close. He's got a big target on his back. He does. People but, know that they can fuck with him. The NC State guys know that they can fuck with him. I think if it's any other guy, they just let him walk by, maybe step to the side. It's Grayson but Allen. But it's him. If you walk through like the, the huddle area yeah. and you're Grayson Allen, shit's going to get weird. By the way, they rushed the court. No. NC State did, no? No, they said, Zach like, Duke. They down the campus. Duke, Duke was 16-point favorites. At, lost at Cameron Indoor and lost, lost to NC State NC first State, time in 22 yeah, years. And NC, NC State, State won crazy. That. Yeah, NC State burned down yeah. the campus. Riggs. Yeah, people kind of have a pass for fucking with them, so they fuck with them way more because they know everybody hates them. Everybody's gonna have their back. So it's it's basically like when you play uh, like a keep to leave in football. You know that if you can fuck with him a little, he's probably gonna get a personal you know foul. Steve Smith, the king of it. Um, last one that we got today. Back to politics. Nice. Uh, if you're gonna, I guess. Things are getting a little heated, no pun intended, but Trump protester getting in an argument, obviously with like, no, no, a Trump fan, a Trump supporter getting in a fight with people who hate Trump. The people who hate Trump, kind of a fat pudgy girl, they just lit her hair on fire, which is an interesting move. Somebody put it out, credit to that person who doesn't like Trump, still stepping to the forefront to put that girl's hair. I think it's out of bounds. I'm going to say this right now. Protesting, silent, Gandhi, you can be that. You start lighting people's <laughs> hair on fire, that doesn't seem to be the right way to do things. Yeah, fire is dangerous. I think fire, you cross the line when you light somebody's Hot hair tank. on fire. Uh, I, I mean, I want, you want to say, like, okay, if you go into a crowd of people that are protesting everything that you stand for, bad shit's going to happen to you, but fire, I mean, you can't, can't fuck light, with fire. I, As a rule, you can't light people's hair on fire. If somebody saw Roger Zell and they lit his hair on fire. It's already uh, on fire. He's fucking ginger fuck. He is a ginger. But nice. I, would, I would say I'm happy somebody lit his hair on fire, but I don't condone it. I okay. don't condone hair, people lighting people's hair on fire, but in this case, it was so sneaky. I still don't know it how. I don't know how. I had to watch three or four it. times. So yeah. I think that if you can do that, if you can be like almost a magician, if David Blaine just lights your hair on fire out of nowhere, I think that plays. I could see like Pats win the Super Bowl. Big crowd, Goodell's there, all Patriot people. I could see Marcellus Bennett like sliding and lighting his hair on fire and then <laughs> sliding out. Like he'd be my guy that I'd pick. Like what Patriot's gonna light? No, he Goodell? wouldn't. He's gonna be like you know t selling his little fucking dinosaur coloring book and talking weird quotes and all that bullshit. Who would light his hair on fire then on our team? It's a wild like sneaky move to be the you light people's hair on fire. Well, Welker would. Wes Welker would. He would have definitely lit. He's like a. Wes Welker. I mean, if you give him a helmet, he probably thinks he's, he's playing on. Something. Who's the office guy? That would be the. Who's our office hair? Like Nate. It's gotta be. Uh, Nate. Nate doesn't have the balls to do it. Tex, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he'd be too blatant. 
Text would be like. Yeah, do you know? Here, here's something. Text, <laughs> I'm going to let your hair on fire, So bitch. you know how we, te- we made Tex sign a contract? Yep. That he's the G- Tex walked up to me two day, like two days ago, and he had uh, a paper. He's like, hey, Big Cat, I need you to sign this for Comedy Central. I was like, Tex, you were asking me to sign something for Comedy Central? I looked at it, the fourth line down, it's like, you, this here absolves Tex from all contracts. <laughs> I was like, Tex, do you think I'm that fucking stupid? He does. He genuinely does. <laughs> like, why would Tex walk up to me saying, Big Cat, I need you to sign this for Comedy Central? <laughs> Tex of all people. I, I, I don't hate Taxi. I mean, oh, I, Tex is my guy, but where, that was a wild is, move. Where is Tex? Is that he, was he's what? sick. That was a Tex. When people think Tex's confidence is not real, Tex walking up to me with a contract thing, I'd sign it. Tex's confidence is real. Yeah, he also like we had him for one of our shows. He was making the social media accounts, and he the password was legitimately like Big Cat fucking suck sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love the guy. Yeah, like, he's, yeah. my, he's part of my team. He's That's part of like Gaz's old YouTube account. Sales guy, oh, Gaz for you or something. Oh, Gaz for you. <laughs> Shout out Gaz for the old oh, Gaz for you. That's yeah, so like, Gaz. That is just oh the most fucking God. Gaz password. That is so him Gaz. Under the table, a little bit. Yeah, a little All bit. right, so that's it. That That's the rundown. That's the last one from these chairs. <laughs> it, it. I wish we could, if we really did this my way, we would now be getting onto the RV in a like jet ski type manner, Jeff Probst survivor style. Yeah, yeah like and Facebook Live. And the next time Live. you see it, yeah. we'd just be on comedy. We'd come through the jungle through like the cowboy and we'd be on set at comedy. Kind of hard when the bus is in New Jersey in like a shitty ass lot and, and we have to and go there like been, 8 a.m. Yeah, and there's been a lot of, I gotta pay rent before I go, so I haven't figured that part out. Let's make it push and back the bus to like is, The bus is a disaster. I have heard the bus is not in great shape, which is not something to look yes, forward to. Uh, not to throw gas on the bus again, but he came up to me. He was like, hey, remember last year's Super Bowl when you like clipped the bus a little? Remember when I clipped it just a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, yeah, little yeah. tiny bit. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, I did I did the same thing. I clipped it a little. And then he showed me the picture. Was yeah, like, it fell apart. Fucking yeah. Yeah. Could you like, like see into the yeah. bathroom? It's a little different, that? dude. That was actually a heated moment when yeah. because we're, it, we crashed in an empty parking we lot. We crashed in an empty parking lot <laughs> with someone directing me yeah. and just like kind of fell asleep at the direction part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's it. Next time, Comedy Central is going to be live at midnight Eastern. We're filming it. Kirby Icehouse, be there. Stoolies, be there. I don't know if Pats fans are going to be there Tuesday, but hopefully you are. Anybody there, uh, Kirby Icehouse, we're going to be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know if I said Tuesday. Monday. Be Monday. There Monday. My birthday, if you want to bring Happy birthday. Whatever. So, also my birthday. Oh, yeah, that's right. You copied me on that, too, you motherfucker. It's just a couple years later. I was like, here I come, big cat. We have that party that's going to be awesome on Friday with Jerule, Ashante. I I won't be there. there. Oh, Dave, you know, there's a little after show. You know who we had in the office last night? We had the source. Uh, Yeah, no, I saw him. He was coming in as I was coming out. We're going to release some of that stuff next week. Yeah, he's incredible. incredible. The most electric man. He is somehow more electric in person than I could have ever met. I, I met him for a second outside uh, when I was leaving. I didn't, yeah, I didn't know he was coming in. I, he has, I was surprised he's electric because he hasn't been on it. Like, he still does stuff, but it's not great. Dave, I can't, like, the guy, we asked him how why he has so much confidence and energy. He said, because I'm a living legend. And that's what living legends do. I use the Stu Finer quote that I use all the time is, if it seems like I always win, that's because I do. That's yeah. a Stu Finer special. Yeah, the source. Shout out. He's shout unbelievable. Out um, yeah, and the coach, Ron Bash, the one to turn to. Okay, so that's the rundown. Like I said. Dude, fr- Final Four, uh, Division Three. What's that? The coach, Ron Bash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. always talk about how he, he took hey, his wait. team to the Final Four. Division Three. And, and he's <laughs> man with the Dolphins. All right, that's it. So, Comedy Central, Kirby's Ice House. Monday through Thursday. We're also going to be doing Sirius Sirius, there because we're banned from Radio Row. KFC is going to be doing KFC Radio, part of my take. So it'll be Kirby Ice House, Stooley Central, Patriot Central, Super Bowl number five, New England Patriots versus Roger Goodell, Asterix featuring the Atlanta Falcons. We will be there live, live, live all week. Be there. Looking forward to seeing everybody. Everybody but me. Sirius from the road, too. Yes, Sirius from the road. The three of us, we're doing it. Nashville and New Orleans. Yep. It's going to be great. Riggs, we'll miss you, baby. Keep, yeah. keep, 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 keep things solid at home. Keep I got the front it. alive. I got yeah. it. Don't, don't, wear too, don't wear too many of our clothes. I'm going to sit in Big Cat's desk. Yeah, you probably just uh, wear all of our clothes. Yeah. All right. 